Have you ever found yourself lost in thought, unable to shake the presence of a certain person from your mind? It's as if they've taken up residence in your heart and soul, occupying your thoughts day and night. You try to focus on your work, your hobbies, and your daily routines. But there they are, a persistent whisper in the corridors of your mind. This mental fixation can feel all-consuming, and it's natural to wonder why can't I stop thinking about this person? Is there a deeper spiritual significance? Behind this relentless focus this experience has common, as it may seem holds profound spiritual significance. It's not just a quirk of the mind or a random occurrence, it's a message, a calling from a deeper realm of consciousness that beckons you to explore and understand. There is a reason deeply rooted in spiritual beliefs and philosophies that they keep appearing in your mental Lang landscape today. We embark on a journey to unravel the mystery behind why certain individuals occupy our thoughts so persistently. The concept of soul connections, one of the key spiritual reasons why someone might be on. Your mind is the concept of soul connections. The world is a vast ocean of energy where every living being is like a wave, unique yet interconnected. We are all connected by invisible threads of energy, much like an intricate spider web spanning. Across the universe, consider the power of collective consciousness, a concept explored by many spiritual thinkers and philosophers. The idea that all human minds are interconnected suggests that your thoughts about someone could be a part of a larger collective. The experience this shared consciousness can create a powerful energy field influencing and shaping the reality of those involved. When you think about someone constantly, you might be tuning into this collective energy experiencing a profound connection that transcends individual boundaries. It's often because there's a deep invisible bond linking your energies together in the teachings of the Buddha. The concept of interconnectedness known as Pratya Samut, or dependent origination, suggests that all beings are interlinked through a web of cause. E in effect your thoughts of someone else are not isolated. They are part of a vast, intricate network of relationships and influences. This interconnectedness means that your mental focus on another person might be a reflection of deeper karmic ties, past life connections, or unfinished business that needs resolution. In this lifetime in Hinduism, the concept of prana refers to life force energy that flows through all living things. When two people interact meaningfully, their prana can intertwine, creating a lasting bond. This can manifest as recurring thoughts, dreams, or feelings about the other person. This energy bond might explain why certain people linger in your thoughts. They are energetically linked to you and your mind is attuned to this connection. Think of the story of Rod and Krishna from Hindu mythology. Their love transcended the physical realm, symbolizing a deep spiritual connection. Even when apart, they were constantly in each other's thoughts. This eternal bond wasn't bound by physical proximity, but by the resonance of their souls in a similar vein. When you can't stop thinking about someone, it could be a sign that your energies are harmonizing, creating a spiritual echo that reverberates through your thoughts. Soul connections are bonds that are deeply rooted in our spiritual existence, transcending time and space. These connections can take many forms, such as soulmates, twin flames, or kindred spirits. It's not just about romantic relationships. These connections can form with friends, family, or even acquaintances who have touched our lives in a significant way in the teachings of many spiritual traditions. It is Belai, Ved, that we meet certain people in our lives for a purpose often to help us learn important lessons or to support us on our spiritual journey. For instance, the concept of twin flames is prominent in various mystical I-Cal traditions. Twin flames are believed to be two halves of the same soul separated and placed into different bodies. The journey of twin flames is one of deep spiritual awakening, where each half must undergo significant personal growth and transformation before they can reunite when you find yourself thinking about someone constantly. It might be because they are your twin flame and your soul is yearning for that reconnection. This longing is not, not merely emotional, 
but is a profound spiritual pull that draws you towards your other half. The energy connection isn't limited to positive relationships. Sometimes unresolved conflicts or unspoken feelings can create a powerful energetic bond. Think of it like a chord that needs to be struck to complete a melody until you address these unresolved issues. Your mind will keep revisiting them, urging you to find resolution in modern. Spiritual psychology, the idea of energy. Connections is often discussed in terms of chords. These energetic cords can form through intense emotional experiences, creating a link that remains until it is consciously released when someone occupies your thoughts. Persistently, it might be your psyche's way of highlighting an energy cord that needs attention. This doesn't necessarily mean you need to reconnect with the person physically, but rather you need to acknowledge the connection, understand its impact, and decide whether to nurture it or... Release it the concept of soul connection similar to the concept of soul connection. Our journey now leads us to the concept of soul contracts. According to this spiritual belief, before we are born, our souls make agreements with other souls to help each other grow and evolve through various life experiences. These agreements or soul contracts influence our relationships and interactions, often bringing certain people into our lives at pivotal moments. The idea of soul contract suggests that the people we encounter are not random. They are part of a pre-birth plan designed to facilitate our spiritual development. When someone persistently occupies your thoughts, it might be because your soul has a contract with theirs, signaling that there is an important lesson or purpose connected to this relationship. In this view, souls actively participate in crafting the circumstances and connections they'll encounter during their earthly sojourn. This concept finds resonance in various spiritual traditions, including ancient Egyptian and Indian philosophies in ancient Egypt. The idea of soul contracts was int. Or twined with the belief in an afterlife journey where the soul's deeds on earth determined its fate in the next realm. The notion that souls choose their part paths and companions before birth was central to understanding life's purpose and the interconnectedness of all beings. Similarly, in Indian spirituality, particularly in the concept of karma and reincarnation, the idea of predestined encounters plays a significant role. Souls are believed to reincarnate multiple times each time with a specific set of lessons to learn and karmic debts to fulfill the the individuals we encounter in each lifetime are seen. As karmic connections integral to our soul's evolution soul contracts offer a profound perspective on the interconnectedness of all life and the idea that our experiences are not merely random but part of a larger cosmic plan aimed at our spiritual development. These soul contracts can involve family members, friends, lovers, and even adversaries. Each relationship, whether harmonious or challenging, is meant to teach us something essential about ourselves and our spiritual journey. Consider the story of F. Gilgamesh and Enidu from ancient Mesopotamian mythology. Their bond forged through both conflict and camaraderie led to profound personal growth for both characters. This tale illustrates how soul contracts can bring together individuals who help each other evolve in significant ways. Even through struggle and hardship, when someone occupies your thoughts, it could be a sign that your soul is nudging you to fulfill or recognize a part of your soul contract with them. This might involve deepening your relationship or simply acknowledging the impact they've had on your life reflecting on these connections can provide clarity about the roles you play in each other's spiritual journeys. Synchronicity have you ever experienced a series of coincidences that seem too meaningful to be rand? Perhaps you've been thinking about someone and then they call you out of the blue or you keep noticing their name or favorite song wherever you go. These events are more than mere chance. They are examples of synchronicity. A concept introduced by the psychologist Carl Jung. Synchronicity refers to the meaningful coincidences that appear in our lives seemingly by chance but rich with Significance when you find yourself constantly thinking about someone and then encounter signs related to them. It's often the universe's way of nudging you toward a realization or action. 
These synchronicities act like breadcrumbs, leading you toward a deeper understanding of your connection with this person. Jung believed that synchronicity is a principle that reveals the deeper underlying patterns in the universe. It's as if the universe is a grand symphony, and synchronicities are the harmonious. Notes that catch our attention prompting us to listen more closely to the melody of our lives. When someone frequently occupies your thoughts and synchronicities related to them begin to appear. It's a signal to pay attention and explore the significance of this connection. Synchronicity is seen as a form of divine communication. It's believed that the universe or a higher power uses these meaningful coincidences to guide us offering hints and messages that help us navigate our spiritual path. This idea is reflected in ancient philosophies such as Taoi, SM, which teaches that the universe is an interconnected ho where everything is part of a greater pattern. Consider the story of how the Chinese philosopher Lazi is said to have discovered the Tou legend, has it that as he was traveling, he encountered a series of coincidences that led him to a deeper understanding of the natural order and the interconnectedness of all things things. These synchronicities were not random. They were the universe's way of guiding him toward enlightenment. When you experience synchronicities involving someone yo, you think about constantly it's essential to reflect on what these signs might be telling you. Are they encouraging you to reach out to this person to resolve an unresolved issue or to learn something important about yourself? Synchronicities are like a spiritual GPS directing you toward experiences and realizations that contribute to your growth to better understand and work with synchronicity, cultivate a state of awareness, and being receptive to the signs around you. You can start to notice patterns and connections that you might otherwise overlook. Keep a journal of these synchronicities noting the thoughts, feelings, and circumstances that accompany them over time, you might start to see a clearer picture of what the universe is trying to communicate. For example, if you're thinking about an old friend and suddenly see their favorite book in a shop window or hear their name mentioned in a conversation, consider what these signs could mean. Are they reminding you of a lesson you learned from this person or prompting you to rekindle the friendship by staying attuned to these synchronicities, yo? You can gain insights into the spiritual significance of your thoughts and the connections. They reveal the presence of unresolved karma as we journey deeper into understanding why someone might persistently occupy our thoughts. We encounter the concept of karmic ties rooted in the spiritual traditions of Hinduism and Buddhism. Karma is the principle of cause and effect where our actions, thoughts, and intentions create ripples that influence our present and future experiences. If someone is persistently on your mind, it might be because there is unfinished, ad business, or unresolved karma between you. This person could be a key figure in your soul's journey. Someone with whom you need to resolve past conflicts or learn important lessons. The thoughts are a reminder from the universe to address these issues, to heal, and to grow from these experiences. Karma is a cosmic ledger meticulously recording every deed and its consequences. The connections we form with others, whether positive or negative, can leave an indelible mark on our spiritual journey. These karmic ties can span lifetimes, bringing individuals together repeatedly until the necessary. Lessons are learned or the debts are settled. When someone is persistently in your thoughts, it could signify a karmic relationship that requires your attention. Consider the Buddhist story of Prince Siddhartha, who later became the Buddha in one of his past lives. He encountered a woman who played a significant role in his spiritual development. Their connection, filled with both love and conflict, carried karmic weight that influenced their subsequent incarnations. This narrative illustrates how karmic tie as can bind souls together, urging them to resolve their unfinished business across lifetimes. When you find yourself thinking about someone constantly, it's worth reflecting on the nature of your past, interactions with them. Were there unresolved conflicts, unspoken feelings, or significant events that left a lasting impression? These elements often form the karmic threads that pull at our consciousness, reminding us of the spiritual work that remains undone. By acknowledging these ties, we can begin to understand the deeper reasons behind our recurring, 
thoughts and take steps towards healing and growth in some cases seeking guidance from a spiritual mentor who specializes in past life regression or karmic healing can provide deeper insights. These professionals can help you navigate your subconscious mind, revealing past life connections and helping you understand the karmic lessons at play by gaining a broader perspective on your spiritual journey. You can find ways to resolve these ties and move forward with greater awareness and peace. It's important to approach karmic ties with compassion on and a willingness to learn these connections often. Carry valuable lessons that can help us grow spiritually and emotionally by facing them head, and we can transform unresolved issues into opportunities for healing and personal development. This process not only benefits our current relationships, but also helps us evolve on a soul level. Breaking free from negative patterns and cultivating positive karma for the future. The Psychological Mirror our journey into the SP spiritual meanings behind persistent thoughts about someone brings us to the concept of the psychological mirror. Often the people who occupy our thoughts serve as reflections of our own inner world, highlighting aspects of ourselves that we need to recognize and address. This idea rooted in Jungian psychology suggests that our thoughts about others can reveal hidden truths about our own psyche. Carl Jung, the Swiss psychiatrist, introduced the concept of the shadow self, which encompasses the parts of our personality that we repress or deny. These shadow aspects can include fears, desires, and traits that we find uncomfortable or chall, edging to acknowledge when someone frequently comes to mind. It might be because they reflect elements of our shadow self, prompting us to confront and integrate these hidden parts. The people who occupy our thoughts can represent different facets of our own psyche, offering partial glimpses into the broader truth of who we are. By paying attention to these reflections, we can gain a more comprehensive understanding of ourselves and our inner world. When you find yourself thinking about someone, constantly ask yourself what they represent to you are their quality. Is or behaviors in them that you admire or Dislike, do they remind you of someone from your past, or do they evoke specific emotions? These reflections can provide valuable insights into your own inner landscape, revealing areas that need attention and healing. It can be a sign, a message from the universe, or a reflection of our deeper selves. The ancient philosophers and mystics believed that thoughts are powerful energies capable of bridging distances and connecting souls, Plato spoke of the idea of anamnesis, the recollection of knowledge from past lives suggesting that our deep connections with others might be remnants of ancient bonds to explore the psychological mirror, consider practices such as self-reflection therapy or creative expression. These tools can help you delve into your subconscious mind, uncovering the hidden aspects that influence your thoughts and behaviors. Therapy, particularly approaches like yin analysis or shadow work, can also be beneficial in understanding the psychological mirror. A skilled therapist can guide you through the process of exploring your shadow self, helping you integrate these hidden aspects and achieve greater wholeness. By addressing the parts of yourself that are reflected in your thoughts about others, you can transform these persistent thoughts into opportunities for growth and self-discovery. Creative expressions such as art, music, or writing can also be a powerful way to explore the psychological mirror. These forms of expression allow, allow you to externalize and process your inner experiences, gaining new perspectives and insights. For example, painting a picture or writing a story about the P.E. Arson who occupies your thoughts can reveal symbolic meanings and emotional truths that might not be immediately apparent. Spiritual Evolution This concept encompasses all the previous reasons tying together the threads of energy. Connections, synchronicity, IC ties, psychological mirrors and soul contracts at its core. Spiritual evolution is about the journey of the soul towards higher consciousness and enlightenment. When someone occupies your thoughts, it's often because their presence in your life is a catalyst for your spiritual growth. These thoughts serve as signposts guiding you toward greater 
Awareness and understanding the relationships and connections that dominate our minds are opportunities for us to learn, heal, and evolve. The journey of the soul is seen as a continuous process of growth and transformation. This journey is marked by experiences and relationships that challenge us, inspire us, and ultimately lead us to a deeper understanding of ourselves and the universe. The people who occupy our thoughts play a crucial role in this process, acting as teachers and mirrors that reflect O. Oh, our progress consider the story of the Bodhisattva in, in Buddhist tradition, a Bodhisattva, is an enlightened being who chooses to remain in the cycle of reincarnation to help others achieve enlightenment. This selfless commitment to spiritual evolution and service to others exemplifies the interconnectedness of all beings and the importance of relationships in our spiritual journey. When you can't stop thinking about someone, it's a reminder that your soul is on a path of evolution, using these thoughts as a means to guide you towards greater wisdom and Compassion. Each person who enters your mind has a role to play in your spiritual development, whether through love, conflict, inspiration, or reflection. Often we can be hard on ourselves for having persistent thoughts about someone, especially if these thoughts cause us distress. Embracing self-compassion means being kind to ourselves, recognizing that these thoughts are part of our spiritual journey and an opportunity for growth. Reflect on the lessons that the person you're thinking about might be teaching you. Are they helping you learn about forgiveness, patience, or unconditional love? Are they challenging you to set boundaries or to stand up for yourself? Each person who occupies your thoughts is a mirror, reflecting a lesson that your soul needs to learn. By understanding and integrating these lessons, you move closer to your true self and higher consciousness in the story of the Buddha. Before achieving enlightenment, he faced many trials and encountered numerous teachers and adversaries. Each of these interactions, whether positive or negative, contributed to his spiritual growth and ultimate awakening. Similarly, the people who persistently enter our thoughts are part of our path to enlightenment, helping us to evolve and transform as you navigate your spiritual evolution. Remember that this journey is unique to you. The lessons and experiences you encounter are tailored to your soul's growth. Embrace the people who occupy your thoughts as catalysts for your development, using each thought as an opportunity to learn and evolve by understanding the spiritual meanings behind your persistent thoughts about someone you can transform these thoughts in. To opportunities for profound insight and personal growth, let your thoughts guide you teach you and ultimately lead you to a deeper understanding of yourself and your place in the universe. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.